How's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. My name is PJ and today I'm going to talk to you about the power of having the mindset of true helpfulness or rather having the desire to be truly helpful. This mindset has helped me time and time again in my own life and I wanted to share with you more about the benefits of having this mindset. And we're gonna go really deep in this video and talk about the metaphysical, which you may not think that those benefits are there, but I guarantee you that there are a lot of metaphysical benefits, but also a lot of practical benefits to having this mindset. And we're going to talk about them right now. So let's first talk about where I personally got this mindset from. There is a book, a spiritual text, that is one of my favorite spiritual texts of all time. Um, and this book is called A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles is a channeled text. And within that course, which is very long, it has like 600 pages um, just in the first book. And then there's two other books, which we're not going to get into all that today. But within that book, there's this part, there's this very small, short, rather you can call it prayer um, or guidance. But it goes like this. It says, I am here. And actually a little subtext and context to this phrase. This was given to one of the people who was involved in, let's say, the channeling process or when this text was being channeled, this little short prayer was given to this this person, um, Bill Tethford, I believe his name was. And this this little prayer was a guidance and, and a response to a prayer of his um, asking, you know, basically, like, what should I do? Like, what kind of mindset should I have when I go? He, I think he was about to go give a speech. And he was really worried about it. And this prayer, this channeling came through as a guidance for him of the type of mindset he should have in order to face the situation ahead to give the speech. And the prayer goes as this. I am here only to be truly helpful. I am here to represent him who sent me. I don't have to worry about what to say or what to do because he who sent me will direct me. I am content to be wherever he wishes knowing he goes there with me and I will be healed as I let him teach me to heal. Now, I know in this prayer, there's a lot of mentions of him or he. Um, and a lot of times this in, in this, the context of this book, A Course in Miracles, that is referring to in particular, the Holy Spirit. So basically, you know, it uses a lot of um, Christian terminology and basically uses kind of like him as a substitute of the term Holy Spirit. You know, you can change that to God, um, my guardian angel, whatever is beneficial to you. But basically, you have a guidance, you have an inner wisdom, an inner teacher that is there with you and will guide you through it. But it all starts, that whole prayer starts with, I am here only to be truly helpful. And that has always stuck with me ever since reading that. And especially since the last like three years, I've really been, I have that prayer written on my, on a whiteboard on my wall and I always look at it and it always gives me guidance. So uh, A Course in Miracles is the source for that prayer and where I got it from. Now let's talk about some of the metaphysical deeper benefits and aspects of this mindset. Now we're going to go really deep here and whether or not you'd like to follow me on these specific metaphysical aspects or not, that's completely up to you. But a lot of this mindset that I'm going to share with you, I got from A Course in Miracles, which is again, the source of this prayer in the first place. Now, A Course in Miracles talk about, talks about life as a whole being, and we're going to go really deep. So bear with me here. And, um, this has been mentioned in a lot of Hindu, texts as well and other religious and spiritual traditions around the world but a course in miracles talks about this concept or this idea or outlook of and a lot of other traditions have as well of life being some sort of an illusion or rather a dream it uses a term dream in particular a lot more um, of life being a dream in a sense an illusion and buddhists have used the term maya and I believe Hindus as well, to describe life being an illusion, to describe, you know, Maya, I think translates to illusion. But so this is not um, a, a unique perspective to A Course in Miracles per se, but the fact that The Course in Miracles kind of reframes it to a dream rather than just an illusion, um, that's, I would say, somewhat unique to A Course in Miracles. But basically, it's an illusion 
of separation. We come from oneness and that is true reality. We are one with all, with everything, with there's only oneness. There's no separation. There's no I and you, no boundaries, let's say, to separate things. There's all, it's just one thing. So on a deeper aspect, we are all just one being, one source, one thing, um, all of us humans. And this life is an illusion to hide that reality from our perception. But believe it or not, having the mindset of true helpfulness can actually allow you to glean or see beyond this illusion or break through this illusion. Sometimes the way it's, I see it in my mind is like the Truman Show. If you've ever seen that movie where Jim Carrey is basically within this illusion, this work, this made up world that he thinks is the real world. But really, he's like on a set of a TV show his whole life. And finally, he breaks through. He finally finds the door that is the way out. And believe it or not, having a mindset of true helpfulness can break through the illusion of separation and help us glean beyond and see something beyond beyond it and glimpse the truth. And eventually, when we glimpse the truth long enough, we're able to fully break through, I would say, to the truth or to the other side where the truth resides, let's say. So how can it do that? How can something as, as simple as having a mindset of I am here only to be truly helpful. How does that achieve such monumental spiritual slash metaphysical task? I'm going to explain how right now. When you have the mindset of true helpfulness, you start to cease seeing other people's interests as apart from yourself. And by starting to see their interests as apart from yourself, like you're thinking, if I help them, that helps me as well. Like, let's say in a work environment, if I help the mission of my work, you know, let's say if I help my boss succeed in his vision, if I help my company succeed in his vision, um, if I'm, if you're on a sports team, if I help my team, if I'm truly helpful to the cause of our team and help our team succeed, you are in that moment are stopping to see your interests as apart from the teams, from the company, from the group you're a part of or the other person. You're starting to, you're not seeing, oh, I help them. Um, it's just going to help them. It's going to take away from me. No, you're starting to see it as one together. Like me helping them helps me too. It starts to create that vision in your mind. So you by starting to cease to see their interests as apart from yourself, you stop to see them as apart from yourself also. And you start to see them as one with yourself as well. Now, this doesn't happen like overnight, but this is over time as you repeatedly keep this mindset of I am here to be truly helpful. Over time, more and more, it's like a little like, you're chipping away at it. It's like a little one. I forgot what it's called, but like you're chipping away at this rock and one day you will break through and it will become your general mindset. So like it may be a practice of first to see, to stop, to see other people, others interests apart from yourself. But over time, that will become your dominant mindset. That will become your actual way of seeing the world. And as this mindset starts to become your dominant mindset of you have stopped seeing others' interests as apart from yourself. You have stopped it, you know, of course, the miracles talks about it's not even like everyone in the world's interest because that could be very daunting. But no, you have stopped to see even just one person's in one instance, you stopped to see their interest as apart from yourself. Even one instance of that, even one situation within which that is the case, where you don't see their interests as apart from you, even that one situation can lead to massive spiritual breakthroughs. So over time, by maintaining this mindset, by having this mindset in different situations in your life of I am here only to be truly helpful, as that becomes your dominant mindset of you have stopped to see others, maybe just one person's, but over time, somebody else's interest as apart from you. You have 
joined in oneness with them because you don't see them by not seeing their interests apart from you you have stopped to see them as apart from you so you have started to perceive oneness and by perceiving oneness you are breaking through the illusion of separation because you have now gleaned oneness which is the ultimate reality which is the true reality so you have now perceived true reality and in a sense, this illusion reality has become a tool for you to glimpse true reality, which is oneness, by having the mindset of true helpfulness. So this is very complicated stuff, but happening through a very simple means of just simply having the mindset that I am here only to be truly helpful. And sooner or later, I believe that will lead you to break through completely from the illusion reality into the oneness reality. So now that we're done with all that deep metaphysical aspect of it and side to having this mindset, let's talk about some of the more practical side of having this mindset. On the practical side, having this mindset also reorients you a lot of the times toward the right course of action it helps you identify or re be reoriented towards it's like it's like you're on a compass right and you're not facing towards let's say true north which is where you're trying to go but this tool this mindset of like how can i be truly helpful in this situation you know, I am here only to be truly helpful. Having that mindset, has, asking that question, like, what would, what can I do to be truly helpful? It's like, it's slowly, it like points you towards the right direction. It turns you towards the direction you want to go. It reorients you towards the, a lot of times towards the right course of action in a very practical sense. You know, like, do this. I should do that. That would be truly helpful if I did x or if i did y and it will reorient you and direct you and and through that oftentimes it leads to the best and the most fruits in various in many situations so it's like without focusing on the best outcomes you get the best outcomes by just simply having your mindset be rooted in a desire to be truly helpful and an intention to be truly helpful. And that intention leads to the right course of actions, the right actions. And that those actions, those right actions over time will lead to the best fruits and the best results. But you weren't focusing on what the best results are that you want to gain. You were just focused on being truly helpful. And then it's like, the unavoidable return on that was that you got the best outcomes. So this mindset of I am here only to be truly helpful, the way I see it on the practical side, it is best seen as a reorientation tool. It reorients you towards the right course of action and from those actions to the best life. And it has done so time and time again in my life, in various areas of my life, spanning anywhere from my work life, this YouTube channel, this whole YouTube channel, its genesis was rooted in a desire to be truly helpful. How can I use what I've learned to be truly helpful to others? It was the birthing place and the birthing ground of this YouTube channel. It has benefited me in my relationship, in my friendships, in my family dynamics, and the list just goes on. There's not one area that having this mindset in has not benefited me in. And what I have found is that having this mindset is one of the best ways to beat this game, or rather, and more accurately said, to wake up from this dream or illusion of separation and return back to our true and ultimate reality, which is oneness, and which is God being with God. I truly believe that. And that's what A Course in Miracles, which is really where I got a lot of these ideas from, promises as well. That over time, through this mindset, combined with the practice of forgiveness, which both of these things 
help you not see another person as apart from yourself, their interests as apart from yourself, and start to see them as one with yourself. And as you do that, which both of these practices, forgiveness and the mindset of I am here to be truly helpful, both of these practices, both of these mindsets help you do that over time. It will help you break out of the illusion of separation and back into your true oneness state, which is back with God. And I truly believe that. So I hope that this video serves you. I hope that it benefits you. Excuse the the cables and the headphone. I've invested in this nice, neat little bad boy of a microphone here. So it's my first time testing it out. So I just want to make sure I get good audio out of it. Um, but thank you for watching this video. I hope that it genuinely is truly helpful for you. I hope that you gain and reap a lot of benefits from having this mindset and developing this mindset in your own life, both in a practical sense and a metaphysical and slash spiritual sense, and that it benefits you time and time again, the more that you use it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you gain value from it. And I hope to see you again on my channel in my future videos. Until then, my friends, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.